All right, my drumming peeps, meteorologist Vinny Sticks coming to you from Vinceville Studios. This is a really cool exercise. This is a double stroke exercise, and this is a workout. So this kind of think of this as going to the gym and you're working your um, you're working you're going to work your fulcrum. Uh, this is really great for your weaker side. This shows you this exercise shows you exactly how weak your doubles are on your weaker side. So if you're left-handed, which I I mean I'm sorry I'm right-handed. So for me my left hand is my weaker side. So this is really cool. And what you want to do is you want to do four doubles on each hand. And you want to make the second part of the double the loudest part. So, so an example here, and I'll slow it down to 100. Okay. Now, this is, this is the exercise. Starting on my, my strong hand. Ready? One, two, three, four. So that's the exercise, four and four, okay? Now, some people do them off the eight, and I know Keith Carlock does this exercise a lot. A lot of times he does it uh, on a practice pad in a hotel room. But this really, when you get up to tempo, when you really start moving this, um, you'll really get to see how much weaker your weak side is um, because you won't have the snap. And that snap is really what gives you the nice, clean doubles, okay? So let's work our way up, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now we're going to go to 120. We're going to do four each side. Ready? One, two, three, four. All right. Work our way up. 140. One, two, three, four. As you get faster and faster, just how much work you're going to need to do on that um, on your weaker side. Ready? One, two, three, four. All right. Let's get up to 180. Now we're moving. Ready? One. And that's where you really, you know, when you get up to close to your, uh, your, your top speed, the meat and potato speed, that's when you're really going to see and you'll notice a difference. And this is such a great exercise because this will really help your doubles, okay? It'll really help your doubles. When you move off the snare drum and then you're doing doubles around the kit, you know, you'll see, uh, let's do some doubles around the kit and we're going to do just regular doubles. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's a great exercise to do, just kind of move the doubles around. But do that particular exercise first. That is a, um, it is a strengthening exercise. It really works the fulcrum. And if you do them as eights, it's really hard. So you do eight aside. Ready? One, two, three. start doing eights is when you're really going to see your weak hand. You're really going to feel, at least I do, I feel it in my fulcrum, unless you play tri traditional. But I really feel it in my fulcrum. But it is a great exercise. It's, a, it's just a great um, um, chop builder, great double builder. And uh, just try it and see if you like it. Again, the first note is quiet. And another one that uh, Keith Carlock used to do all the time, another one uh, very similar to this, right? So you would go hand to hand.
and he would do blazing, blazing speed. But you get my point. Um, that's another great exercise. It's a chops builder. It's uh, it it's, it'll help with um, um, with just building um, y your hand strength. Okay, so uh, especially for the doubles. So there's a great tip, and I hope you use it. Uh, meteorologist Finney Sticks, peace and love. See you guys.